you know, we're hearing more and more companies uh, cut forecasts, uh, expecting tighter margins, seeing sales drop due to the economic environment. Are we headed for a recession? Um, good morning, Nira. Good morning, Matt. Um, I think uh, what we have achieved in Q3 is a strong achievement. Um, after a 5.9% growth at constant currency in Q3, we're now targeting a five, around 5.5% 5 .5 growth uh, for the full year 2019. So indeed, we, we've seen some softness coming uh, uh, in, the, in the economic environment. So there's a less favorable economic environment and it is uh, true in the banking sector and uh, we also see some sign of a kind of wait and see attitude uh, around the Brexit in the, in the UK. So there are some okay, punctual so elements uh, at the end of the year which uh, explains I mean the fact that we are now more at the bottom end of, uh, of the revenue growth guidance the, of early uh, February. Carol, great to speak to you this morning. So um, you've talked about some challenges in the banking sector and a wait and see attitude uh, on Brexit. How are you offsetting those challenges then? Because you are seeing a softer economic environment, as you say. Um, so how are you offsetting the challenges? So uh, what we see at the end of the year is some, uh, it's not specific to Katrina, of course, it's some really uh, tightening of budget at year end. So we see that notably in the, in the banking sector and um, in, the, um, in the UK because of the, the last even uh, around the Brexit, uh, we see really both in the private and in the public sector some wait and see attitude. But it's a punctual element. So of course, uh, the banks are really uh, needed IT services for the production. So uh, what we see is that it won't last uh, too long. So at, as a matter of fact, there, are, there is some softness. Uh, but uh, I mean, on the banking sector, uh, really banks do need IT services. So is the banking sector really the only place that you're seeing softness? I mean, we've seen, of course, a manufacturing slowdown as well, a contraction in Germany. Is that the, is that the toughest region for you in Europe? Yeah, Kush, um, we, we have a strong Europe again uh, this quarter and since the beginning of the year. And outside, I mean, the banking sector, we, we see a robust Europe indeed. Let's talk as well um, about the deal um, with Altra and that acquisition, Carol. Um, that's uh, gotten approval uh, from uh, the EU. So talk to us about what that's going to contribute to the business in terms of what you gain from that deal. And what does it say about future so, M&A as uh, well? Okay, so what we, indeed you're right, uh, the, the AMF has uh, uh, declared that our uh, tender offer was compliant, so it was open on October 16th. But as you may know, there was a suit launched against the decision of the AMF yesterday evening. So uh, it will delay, I mean, uh, the, the process of closing. We are very confident on, the, on our capacity to close uh, this project. Uh, but of course, it's uh, it's a pity to have uh, such a delay, and it's damageable to shareholders and to to the employees. But uh, we are very confident uh, to be capable to to close this project uh, with a share price of 14 euros per share, and uh, and to reach uh, the the 50.1 percent, which is the limit to which we, we are fixed to make it a success. How do you see, Carol, regions outside of the U.S.? I mean, what, what's, your, what's your take on the global growth slowdown? I mean, uh, if you look at the, the, the third quarter, we've got a very balanced geographical uh, growth. Uh, as anticipated, uh, North America growth stands at 3.5%, so uh, in Q3. Uh, 
uh, versus 0.8 percent in uh, in Q2. So that's a positive evolution. Europe has been very strong. Uh, UK and Ireland uh, growth is 6.2 percent. We've got uh, uh, France, which is growing at 5.6 percent. The rest uh, of Europe is growing above 6 percent as well. And Asia Pacific and Latin America is growing very well, very well, at a growth rate of 16.6 percent. So it's quite a steady growth in Asia Pacific and Latin America. Carol, um, just finally, what makes you think that the wait and see mode around Brexit uh, might not last a lot longer, given that day by day we get more and more uncertainty? Right now we might be heading to an election in the UK on December 12th and the EU extension is still up in the air. So you must be preparing for that uncertainty to continue for a long time yet. So first of all, uh, we are prepared operationally for the Brexit, meaning that most of our oper operations in the UK are delivered either from the UK or from offshore, from India primarily. That means that we won't be affected operationally. We are completely ready. Um, in terms of business, what I've told you is really that uh, at the moment, because of the specific environment around the Brexit, we, we see some wait and see attitude. Uh, but at some point of time, the Brexit environment will uh, change and we will see more opportunities and the business coming more to, to normal, uh, normal business.